This morning junction is good for male birth, bad for female birth. To be honest, bad for female birth basically means if a female is born, life is difficult. One point. If son is in the ascendant. Other than that, what I have seen, son in the ascendant person is very aspirational. and somehow the effort or the hard work or the luck does not matches with that expectation which slowly over the age of 30 35 makes the person you know like someone who is lost in life you now they had great expectations they did hard work also for it but because of some reason or the other they could not achieve it and this slowly slowly leads them to depressive state makes them like they are defeated in life after which they lose hope and try to compromise with everything this is the basic theme that happens otherwise this person is very good well respected everyone thinks that they are very authoritative they are knowledgeable come to seek their advice but in their own family they don't have much respect the family members know the truth that what he will advise and what he will do are two different things This is a non-dependable person. So your wife does not believe you. Your mother does not believe you. Your siblings don't believe you. But the people in the society comes to take your advice. Is generally what happens with son in ascendant. Better not to have. Okay. Regarding moon in the ascendant, one major point what I told you: instability. The life is instable for sure. and this settlement comes very late in life so my prime advice is until and unless you have you know you you want to retire in life don't purchase property etc property vehicle etc don't purchase because life will be instable secondarily complete happiness is never there what i have seen they are married so there will be no child once child will happen there will be problem in profession this problem in profession will only settle when either both the children are married or they leave home so this side this type of unset instability in life is there they cannot live at the same place for long they cannot live in the same property for long this generally becomes an issue with moon in the ascendant this should be the prediction secondarily the lack of focus is what i have seen moon in the ascendant person is not focused at what they are doing but they are focused at different areas and you know this is not urgency this is not like i wanted to learn but something happened so i could not read the book it is not the point it is just like the time you open the book you lose interest in reading you try to find something else that you can do later on to give a thing that i could not do it because of this this or that that reason secondarily what i have seen is priorities of these people are somehow very shuffled priorities of these people they are not very clear with what they actually want right so they want to continue further education and get married at the same point of time they showed it out now you want to study you want to get married what do you want to do so this choice is somehow difficult to ask generally such people as sir i want to continue with my profession also sir can i learn astrology also this is a person who is into a job who takes a lot of time i am like okay how will you do it so they are like sir i have my job for uh, some 8 9 hours right judge of supreme court and after that i will learn astrology when your wife children oh sir that i did not think because then who will think i are tera bivi bachche ka kaun sochega mai sochega kya are you getting my point so the path somehow is not clear which leads them to go into those areas which is not needed leading to problem mars in the ascendant is okay okay but i have seen something very specific with mars in the ascendant okay point number 1 they have almost everything by family but somehow they are not interested in it family have a vehicle they are not interested in driving it family have a home they are not interested in living into it this becomes a problem secondarily with mars in the ascendant what i have seen rather than their own religion they are interested in others religion 
they try to become someone they are not so rather than exploring your own things right you know what you are what you want to do you try to imitate someone is what happens with mars in the ascent you try to become what you are not you don't look after your child but you want to become godfather for someone's child <clears throat> sorry who is already having a blessed life this becomes a problem with mars in the ascent okay along with this one thing i have seen mars in the ascendant and if these people love someone or oh, that love is a disaster this love outside this love is disaster with mars in the ascendant see this is ascendant this is not mars in other houses influencing the ascendant it is not the case mars in ascendant is the point that's what i am telling you so this love around marriage becomes a problem so either you get married to the one that you love which is generally disasters and because this desire is now not satisfied you got married to the one you are loving and now it is a problem then here and there you keep on going and there are issues there this becomes problematic mercury in the ascendant is set as good see mercury jupiter venus in the ascendant is good the thing with mercury is no matter how bad the combinations in the horoscope are mercury jupiter venus same order mercury minimum venus maximum in the kendra can take over the blemish so you know there is a bad seventh lord in eighth house but there is jupiter in the kendra good in marriage bad result will not happen because venus will take over the blemish but this will only happen when these planets are good now the problem with mercury is 80% of the time mercury will be retrograde combust remaining time he can be with malefics which make it a weak mercury now if it is a pure mercury this is a pure person high highly intelligent he knows what he wants he knows what he is focused to completely focused in his area and succeeds into that also so life of success basically ramkrishna paramhans is a good example he know he knows since day one what he wants to do he never gets confused he is very clear i want to do this right he is a good example he have mercury in ascendant he have sun and moon in the ascendant also but sun and moon going to amavasya that is a different set of you will learn about it mercury is the game changer so he is very focused he is very clear that i want to do this he does that only there is no contradiction in his own thought right whereas when this mercury is afflicted there is a lot of change in life path this happens with mercury ascendant people also mercury ascendant gemini ascendant virgo ascendant and mercury is afflicted up to the age of 28 i wanted to become a lawyer up to the age of 35 i wanted to become a businessman now i want i want to become something else decide what do you want to become only then you can become so choices are somehow you know the instability becomes a problem and this instability is not the instability of moon the instability of moon is like you are interested in almost everything everything fascinates you is the problem with moon the problem with mercury is you are not able to decide the path that is generally the problem with mercury when mercury is good it is good that is that goes without any sign and another thing with mercury you know mercury in indicates earth element okay earth element is about smell fragrance you understand fragrance as you know like you perceive that something is this way percept you know the percept there is a percept you think that this person loves me you think that this person hates me thinking problem with mercury is mercury works based on thinking and he never really goes on to find the truth this generally is bad Like you know, you think something, you do everything based on that thinking, just to know later on that the thinking was not true. This becomes problematic. There is one more point with related to Mercury, afflicted Mercury specifically, entitlement. They think that I am entitled for it. 
why my mother did not do this to me why my father did not this to me in, they feel entitled for something something which generally becomes a problem they want others to do it they don't want to do it and secondarily complained my lord even in the best thing they can complain they are doing a job more than their what they should they are get, doing a job getting more than what they should get still they will be like but see i have to work overtime and because you are getting paid more than you are worthy of but complaints so that's another one you are wasting something because of your own mistake but you will blame it to someone else and you will be crying is what i have seen with mercury the problem with jupiter is also the same jupiter believes himself to be someone else there is a sense of superiority in jupiter you know this is not that much in uh, this sun sun is the karga for confidence he knows that i can do it he will do it the luck will not support is the another point but jupiter somehow feels that i am superior i am entitled somehow and this superiority and this entitlement creates an issue with jupiter secondarily jupiter is very much ignorant about things jupiter is ignorant about what is happening around me only focused on himself later on this ignorance of things happening around him lands him into an issue something that he is not prepared for that becomes a problem right but otherwise jupiter is a good planet it gives the person wisdom but the problem with wisdom is wisdom comes with experience experience is a bitter way there is an old saying i posted over my youtube that to gain knowledge is a three path you can gain it from the guru simplest way you can gain it by reading you have to go here and there waste some time thirdly you can learn by experience difficult way because maybe you need three experiences and each experience will cost you 5 years of your life so it will be 15 years in total that you will waste just to gain a simple knowledge so this is the problem with jupiter they have wisdom but this wisdom comes through experience a lot of failing a lot of trial and secondarily what i have seen with jupiter now this is a humble beginning at the top in the middle ages around 30 40 and a steep decline after 40 45 you know so that rose to fame and wasted is a jupiter story somehow this will be entirely different if it is a good combination right bad result i am telling you in good result it is humble life rose to fame stayed in fame becomes legend legendary all right so negative result just i am telling you positive result so you can make yourself the story with venus is venus is the best planet almost in the ascendant venus is best to be honest with you but this venus should be alone is a condition venus rising is the best day venus in the ascendant is a venus rising venus rising is the best day almost all of the blemishes are gone in the horoscope health etc does not becomes an issue but the problem with venus is see venus is all fine as a planet but the support of venus is not with good people so the people that venus supports the people that venus tries to help is detrimental later on because he is the teacher of demons you should know the bali story bali wanted to give donation to vaman shukracharya being teacher wants to stop him he does not listen to bali does not listen to sukracharya sukracharya goes into his kamandalu that water will not come out he cannot take a sankalp and because there is no sankalp there will be no donation so the bali puts a spike into his eyes the speck of something a speck of grass he puts into his eyes sukracharya loses his eyesight who does bad to him his own student why because he was wanting good of the student and the clever vishnu there so the problem with venus is your own people somehow are the one who will cause the downfall oh hame to aur ne looted hame to apno ne looted all the stuff 
this is a problem with veena that is problem number 1 the help support of whatever people he do they don't think good for him secondarily venus is deeply very spiritual is what i think venus is deeply very spiritual but people are more attracted to the aura of venus than to venus itself so as soon as they go into bad times when the time is good there is everyone around them but as soon as venus lands into bad time they feel themselves alone and because venus is very social that right? because venus always wants someone to advise them and always wants different opinion when he is alone he takes his suicidal steps right so venus is a story of good dasha antar dasha great progress bad dasha antar dasha steep decline other than that venus is all okay venus is very good it is a beneficial ascendant good person succeeds in life also and everything is there but the problem through own people is and saturn is just opposite to saturn all of the own people of saturn wants to help saturn but saturn favors outsiders more than his family members this is the biggest problem with saturn another thing is saturn is adamant like anything saturn is saturn is not progressive basically saturn is regressive so there was a saying that you know i i was a very small child i am also like having the same approach as such so what happened once my favorite toy broke because the toy broke i broke the plate and i was like if you want to give me food keep the chapatis on the floor i will eat it this way so this my maternal uncle told me a good story that this is detrimental for you so this is the saturnian approach if something bad happens they don't try to save it they try to completely destroy it and then they are like now my home is destroyed so i will sleep on a bare ground so this adamancy becomes problematic for them and this adamancy is of sadism is a problem with saturn secondarily he does not support those people who support him in the time of distress in the time of problem rather than supporting those people who supported you earlier you are supporting the new person that also becomes problem and thirdly you know the problem with you know shashi yoga you know many of you will know what is shashi yoga when moon sun is in the saturn is in kendra as powerful shashi yoga is formed but if saturn is in kendra in libra aquarius capricorn and shashi yoga is not getting formed then what yoga will be i have talked about it in a video it is called sachin yoga right not the tendulkar one in sachin yoga the result is that people are jealous of me because of some reason or other so this useless jealousy of people somehow is problematic people just don't want to help you don't want to recognize you because of some aura that is attached to you okay this is the biggest problem with saturn jealousy or hatred because of any reason there is one more point related to this generally when the ascendant is influenced by malefic planets people by disposition don't like you when they listen to you hear about you or when they first get introduced to you they just have a negative thought because of some reason or other so this is the villain in the movie you think that a villain in reality will also be a bad person so that he is not he is playing a role but he is so much into the role that you start connecting it with the personality of the native that is not the point right so this is the problem with all the planets in the ascendant you should understand it and you should change it saturn in the ascendant support your family is the thing that you should do ascendant is very clear 